Diecast Collectors. This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Diecast review. Today, it's going to be on Kyle Weatherman's 2020 Back to Blue uh, Darlington Throwback Chevrolet Camaro for the NASCAR Xfinity Series for, uh, you know, everyone's Applebee's favorite loving driver, Mike Harmon Racing. Yeah, buddy, this is the third, I believe, final release for Mike Harmon Racing. I understand I still got to review his Back to Blue car, but... This one is definitely easily, I think this one looks a lot more better than the original Back to Blue diecast because it's a freaking throwback to a, a freaking retro police car, guys. But you're probably wondering, it's no ordinary police car. It's a police car that is actually owned and uh, by a actual uh, uh, NASCAR driver, which we'll get on to in a second as we're going to unbox the bad boy. Let's take a close look at the Kyle Weatherman Back to Blue uh, Darlington throwback. And alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of the box, and man, this is one cool looking throwback, guys. I mean, I know I already did a lot of throwbacks reviews, guys, but this one I definitely decided to wait on it because there's something very unique about this thing, um, which I really do like. One thing that is definitely not unique is the quality control, as you can see right there. We got ourselves a butt fuck load of paint chips. I mean, look at this, guys. There's paint chips all over here, right above Weatherman's name. Goodness gracious. Uh, whether or not is that a big deal or not? <laughs> Stupid pun, Brian. Um, loose windshield as well. Goodness gracious, yeah, quality control. Uh, might as well have to freaking, I don't know, call the police on this thing, man, because this thing definitely uh, deserves to be in the slammer. I will say that. All right, enough of these bad puns, Brian. Let's get on to showing off this diecast. So we got the canine logo right here. It looks pretty cool, guys. Um, I don't know, anybody who is a big fan of the police force, I will say this probably will be a great diecast to have in your collection. Or if you know somebody in your family that is a that you know works in the police force or a friend or somebody, that's pretty cool. This is uh that that it's definitely I mean th this is actually supposed to represent a throwback of the I, I guess uh well like an old police car. I want to say like the highway patrol cars that you know um that you see in the movies or stuff like that, but I don't know. I mean, I don't really know too much about my police car history, but you know, this looks pretty familiar and it's pretty kind of cool that you know uh um the man the myth the legend himself, Mike Harmon Racing decided, you know, hey, you know, I'm going to do a throwback on a police car. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice police chauffeur to Applebee's, I will say that. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I uh, really do like this, guys. I even like how they, the, the font really blends in well with the paint scheme. Uh, and we, I believe we got, uh, we got uh, I don't know, that's somebody related to uh, Kyle Weatherman, I believe, that's on the driver, that's on the, here on the driver's name. Uh, I can't really tell who that is, but it's got to be someone related. Maybe they were in the police force. That's pretty cool that they were able to honor that. But love the simplicity of this paint scheme, guys. Really nice, especially with the gold lettering um, and having, you know, patrol on the sides. I mean, that, that really gives that a nice throwback vibe. A very unique throwback. I mean, not really a NASCAR throwback, but, um, yeah, this is supposed to... Whoa, that Chevrolet logo is off-centered. Uh, the camera doesn't want to focus on that. It's like, hey, I know you're off-centered, so I ain't going to show you shit. <laughs> um... Kind of funny that this car actually, um, I, I this, this car does not have the half name banners on it. I guess it just depends on you know what team you're on or something like that. I mean, my car racing is quite an underfunded team, so maybe they didn't got the updated name banners. They don't really enforce those as much, or I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um, but I think what well, like all the uh, Harmon diecast uh, just had you know the original name banners on it. I don't know why. I mean that's kind of odd. I mean I don't know if it, that changed or whatever. But yeah, and we rarely see that much sponsors. Uh, we really see an unsponsored diecast, but as you guess you could say, the back of this diecast is quite unsponsored. Um, unless, you know, they blacken out, you know, a specific sponsor that's not appropriate, like an energy drink or alcohol, but nah, it's just an underfunded car. And this one actually has the correct headlights. A, a te those are taillights, Brian. They go in the tail. All right. <laughs> Camaro body mold. Some people don't really like this mold, but I don't mind it. And we got uh, the Journey Home Project. I don't know what that is. Probably something new with veterans, I guess. That's pretty cool. More horrendous quality control we got right here. Thin line blue, USA. <laughs> USA. And the throwback tires on this actually look really nice. I mean, I'm I know Lionel couldn't get the, you know, the blue trim around that, but you know what, man? It looks better without the blue trim, but you know, in terms of accuracy, it's not really that accurate. The only gripe I have about this, okay, so we have a I, this is just probably, I don't know, just like the only decals that they had um, for my karma racing. All right, I prefer the white number that we have on the tail, but this red number, though, I'm sorry. It really just doesn't look good with this die cast. I'm sorry. The red number on the front, I know that's just a little nitpick, but they should have left that white. Probably would have looked a lot more better, but I know where they got that red number from because we're going to be doing a side-to-side comparison of his original Back to Blue car, which you can see this thing has a lot of differences to it. Of course, the red name banner up on top since this is... I believe was ran at a NASCAR uh, salutes race, if I'm not mistaken.
Hayden because that's a NASCAR salutes banner. They didn't call it NASCAR salutes, but I don't know. That's just what they did. Um, I, I still call it that for some odd reason. But yeah, I mean, two very unique looking paint schemes. So both kind of mostly have a black uh, front. But if you guys are, like I said, big fans of the police force, both these die casts are the way to go. Um, both represent, you know, back in the blue in their own each unique ways. Um, and I don't know. I just love the simplicity of this die cast, guys. And yeah, that is actually, I never reviewed the original Back to Blue car, guys. But yeah, that is actually uh, what's accurate on the car. So yeah, that's on my Carmen Racing, not Lionel. So technically Lionel was right. Quarter panel's about the same. Weatherman's name. In terms of quality control, actually, I think the original Weatherman car actually looks uh, actually looks a lot better, to be honest with you guys. Uh, oh, it says Officer Weatherman. Oh, that's cool. I'm a dumbass. I thought that was like somebody that was related, but no, that says Officer Weatherman. Like, you know, howdy, officer. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I should probably start wearing my glasses a lot more on the, on these reviews because uh, then again, I mean, you guys like it when I just say stupid shit, but... <laughs> But yeah, in terms of what's a better scheme, both are unique in their own different ways, but I prefer the throwback one, guys. The throwback looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention what this is throwing back to. This is actually throwing back to David Reagan's, uh, David Reagan actually owns uh, one of these cars. Uh, not in my Carmen car, but a, a an old police car. So he's doing a throwback to that. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I wonder if the if Weatherman or the team has anything to do with David Reagan. Because kind of a random choice, but heck, I... I'll give them props for creativity, man. I mean, they did a pretty good job on this. We'll say. I mean, the K9 logo is a nice addition. I mean, in terms of paint scheme, probably doesn't really go well. I mean, they probably could have left that purple out, but I'm assuming that purple is supposed to represent the blue line, um, you know, for um, all the um, for, for the officers and force and, you know, um, everybody in the police force. So that, that's probably what that stands for, which, you know, that's pretty cool. But for the throwback, I mean, I don't know. I mean, not really the best looking logo, I will say, but... Uh, they could have left it gold too or something, but I understand why, you know, because, you know, it's the back of the blue after all, you know, got to support your blue. But yeah, I mean, you know, with all the controversy aside about this uh, hashtag and everything else in between, this is a great looking die cast, guys. I definitely recommend picking this up. I have all three of these Mike Harmon die casts, and honestly, I think this is definitely better than the Trump 164 and definitely better than the back of the blue. Um, I'm still amazed that we were able to get three My Carmen Racing diecast guys. I mean, that is pretty damn awesome. I literally thought they were going to be canceled, but heck, I guess there was a big fan base when it came to that hashtag. So heck, you know, I'll I'll take it. You know, with without all the politics aside, guys. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this diecast review of the um, of this uh, beautiful police force car driven by Kyle Weatherman and the hashtag Back the Blue Don's Throwback Chevrolet Camaro for My Carmen Racing gonna give me some applebees now anyways guys uh take care everybody as this has been obb the diecast news guy comment like, subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on another civil diecast review